We're at SNS Dugout in Southport, Connecticut, the world famous SNS Dugout. On this place? Uh, well, this place was started in, uh, actually was started in 1950. Uh-huh. If you pan over there to the wall, you'll see a black and white picture of where my father oh, wow. started. And this is your dad here, obviously. Let me see. Right this, this is the SNS dugout right there, huh? He started in 1950. About where the uh, I-95 on the Coast Road used to be a, a recreational baseball field. Uh huh. At that, right there. And uh, at the end of the field, he had that little stand, and that's how the name the dugout came about. Uh, okay, yes, and that's dugout, right? So that's in, pretty cool. In the, in the early 50s, they started the eminent domain all of the property there so they could build I 95. So 1955, he moved here. Dad, come over here. He's 96 this year. He's 96? 96. And he's been working all these years? All these years, and he still comes in seven days. You've seen a world of changes, right? Yeah. From, uh, what, the invention of the car, the automobile? Yeah. Right? To, to what? Yeah. I mean, just everything, right? Yeah. The first one, that was the Model T Ford. The Model T Ford? <laughs> that was the first car. I bet you owned one of those, huh? <laughs> Yeah. So tell, tell me what you did. You started this business just because they needed food at the ball field, huh? huh? They needed food at the ball field, and you saw an opportunity to serve food? Well, uh, no, I came out of the service. You came out of the service? Okay. And there was no work. So I saw this place. In what year was that? The Depression? Yeah, 1950 I come in. No, I'm sorry, 1950. I come into the country and we do it in the Depression. Oh, you 19, came into the country 19, during 19, the Depression? During the Depression, just worse than today. Wow. The people were committing suicide from the window of the stock market and everything. But now they got, they know what to do before they... Well, now they know what to do, but our country's in a bit of trouble right now. Yeah, but yeah. I think you have the confidence that we're going to be able to pull out of this. Yeah. Maybe a few bumps and bruises, but you know we'll certainly come out of it. As far as I'm right. concerned, so yeah. you just got to have the faith, right? Yeah. So I came in and I uh, didn't have no job, and my mother was here, so I got a pushcart and I put bananas in it and on and on and went from house to house to house. No kidding, door yeah. to door, huh? Yeah, door to door. They don't allow you to do that anymore, though, do they? <laughs> no, no, but I see anybody. Well, that was, was a bunch of banana for a dollar and a big, big, awesome navel orange for a dollar, too. Uh huh. But now <laughs> you can't even get orange. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And then, so you did the purse cart and then you opened up in 1950 or so at the dugout? No, uh, before that, I opened up a store in. Uh, Bridgeport. Okay, what kind of store? Uh, uh, groceries and uh, vegetables and all that. Uh -huh. And then I, I was doing okay until Uncle Sam sent me a letter. <laughs> I had to go to service. I saw, okay, so Uncle Sam drafted you, huh? Oh, yeah. You went into the service. Yeah. And this is what we're having to eat here. I got the world famous, what do you, what do you call this world famous um, patty here? Sausage patty? Eggs. Sausage, egg, and cheese. Sausage, egg, and cheese. Yeah. And the, and the um, potatoes are what? Homemade, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Peeled here on the premises, Idaho potatoes. 
mash here. No kidding. And he makes the uh, spices Andrew, for the sauces. Yeah, uh, your, your dad does. Yeah, my dad does. So you, you you came up with those spices? I I figured up with the sauces. I made, came up with the roast beef too. You came, well, no kidding. Roast beef. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's pretty neat. Yeah. That's pretty neat. We're gonna a little bright here. So um, so then when you open this up, and then when did your son start working with you? Oh, he. No, about ten years. Ten? About ten years ago. And is that when is that when he implemented implemented the uh, the sons in working? What's your son's first name? Robert. Robert. Okay. And what is your first name? Robert as well. What's your name? Your first name? Well, uh, my first name is actually Cezine uh, Salome, but they call me Ed. They call you Ed. Okay. Yeah, but in the service, we uh, have a roll call. You know, they couldn't pronounce Cezine. Oh, okay. So I said, call me Ed. Oh, isn't that funny? Well, that's really interesting. So your son's been working here ever since for the last 10 years. And he came in, what, to, to help you out, kind of? Huh? Or what did he come in for, just to help you out? The wife was with me. Your wife was with you all these years? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then your son came in to help you out? Yeah, and my grandson came in, his son. Okay. Yeah. So he's working here now as well at times? Yeah. No, no kidding. Doing good job. That's great. Isn't yeah. that great? Yeah. So a real success story, I'd have yeah. to say, huh? So far, so good. Nice. So far, so good? It's only been, uh, what, 58 years? 58. <laughs> when you get famous, don't forget about us guys that work here now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and, and who's the woman here that's, that's uh, reaching into the fridge? What's her name? The what? What's the woman here that's serving us? Camille. Camille. Camille Sullivan. I mean, Camille? Camille, how long have you been working here? Sarno. Camille Sarno. A long time. Uh-oh. Really long time. Okay. <laughs> we'll leave that. You've been eating here for 23 years? Okay. So, Ed, thank you for sharing your story with me. I'm looking to uh, doing some wonderful things for you. And um, let's see what happens, okay? I've, I've learned, uh, I, I have an art of being able to get to that first page of the Google searches. And I'll tell you, it's very, very amazing the things that I've learned in the past, oh, say 15, 16 months. I'm taking my businesses, a chauffeur service, yeah. limousine service, all kinds of ground transportation, and um, a catering and butler service. Yeah. I'm totally revamping my um, business model and due to what the internet has to offer us today. And I'm going worldwide with my limousine service. It's gonna be launching here in the next month or two. And, uh, and my butler service, it's, it's, I mean, in, the, in this day, in, uh, this week, I did not get one phone call for this Saturday, and that's unheard of. In years past, I w I've been doing eight to 20 parties a week. With Christmas time, yeah. I do on a Saturday before Christmas, I'm in somewhere between 35 and 50 homes. Oh yeah? Yeah, about 2.25 2 people per home is what we average. Just small, intimate parties. Um, never really wanted to go the corporate route, just wanted to keep it small, but I, um, you know, maybe I should turn the camera around to myself here, and um, let's see. I, I could see myself, pardon me, and this is me, John Pirro, and I've been sitting here talking with Ed and his son and, and his and SNS. Stuff. So what I'm doing is, is I'm taking my businesses to the internet world. I used to have $80,000 worth of advertising and marketing out there. Today, zero dollars in my advertising budget. I do not spend a dime on advertising other than, I, I, I guess I can't say that. I guess I do a little bit here and there um, only because uh, I, I chose to go that route. Um, and it's amazing how, how, you know, just by knowing how to get your business to the first page of a Google search, um, learning how to do search engine optimization, and we can teach you that here, um, it, it will do wonders for your business. I mean, think about it. If you were on the first page of Google, if you dominated the top three spots or had four or five of those spots on the first page of Google, what do you think will happen to your business? You take care, and I'll see you when, when we see you. And if I can help you out, you want to hear what I have to say, go ahead and opt in to this page that I'm going to put right here on the screen, uh, the Online Marketing Basic Toolkit. My name's John Pirro, and I'll have my information at the end of the video here as well. Take care now.